good afternoon everyone so welcome to the channel of rd automation learning so today we are going to see the amazon interview questions asked for a qa tester profile for two plus years of experience so these questions were asked to one of my subscriber in the last week and the location was chennai experience required was two plus years it was a telephonic round so basically two rounds were conducted for her first one was a telephonic discussion and another was also a technical discussion which was again a telephonic round so in the first round uh, she was asked three questions given a simple login page and asked to write test cases so i would mention specifically over here that you should also you know write uh, i mean tell the scenarios from the non functional perspective because from functional perspective every person will answer but if you are answering from a non functional pers perspective as well then it would give a, a good impression to the interviewer then this was a programming question given an int integer find the sum of the digits of that number until the sum becomes a single digit so this is a simple programming question now how do you test any mobile application different metrics that needs to be covered so you can cover from you know the uh, various operating systems like android is there ios is there so that competitive testing you can tell you can tell from gui point of view from easy of uh, how how easy the applications are to be used on a mobile version okay then uh, it is about the when you rotate the screen so how the features are getting displayed what is the application size what is the performance what is the uh, usage of the memory are you open to a, uh, are you able to open the another applications on the phone when you are you know uh, using this mobile application so these were the three rounds basically that uh, she was able to recall she was asked in the first uh, telephonic round and on the same day she got email for the second round as well so in the round 2 again uh, which was scheduled after some days uh, the first question was how do you send reports to the higher management and who will be involved so you have to tell everything about the reporting management about the metrics that you give to the higher management let's say if some of the critical issues if some of the high priority issues show stoppers that you have found out in the defect in the application so those all defects you need to cover in the report apart from that you also need to cover how much percentage of test cases uh, you know you have covered in the testing so that uh, the higher management will get an idea okay 60% of testing has been done and let's say some xyz count is the defects that has been found so now how many more defects we can expect in the another uh, range of testing so such kind of report management that you have to tell them Uh, and who all will be involved so uh, it is nothing but a stakeholders or test leads or test managers would be involved okay so if they are telling uh, you know from a very higher management so obviously it is stakeholders or customers if they are uh, telling you to how do you report to your team then it is test leads test managers okay then uh, what if there was an issue in the production how do you handle it okay so we all know uh, we have, we as as we are testing into the development environment there are times when these issues don't come up in the development but then you uh, face those issues in the production environment so what you can do at at the at, in such scenarios you can basically try to reproduce uh, the uh, it might be a configuration setting issue or it might be uh, with respect to you know operating system or some particular os that it has been used it might be 32 bit or 64 bit or it might be some third party software integration that might would have been happening or some kind of upgrade or update that would have come into the into the production environment into the browser it might would have come so all those all those kind of scenarios you have to tell at the time of interview now how do you make sure that the quality level testing is done by your team members so this is a scenario so they want to know uh, how will you you know cope up with such kind of things like if you are made a lead then how do you handle such things so daily sync up is one part then review test cycles is another thing you are you have to review the test cycles whether uh, they are been getting executed every day in the appropriate um, as per the appropriate timeline you know then daily sync ups you have to arrange a meeting with your team members and ask them if they are facing any you know impediments or facing any challenges in the testing then test scenarios test scenarios is the heart of testing so you have to consider all the test scenarios like positive negative scenarios from a performance point of view from security point of view so 
you have to make sure that all the permutations and combinations are been covered in the testing how to log the effort required for any functionality okay so it is based on the estimation how will you give the estimation of time or how will you uh, estimate how much efforts do you need for testing some xyz feature so it depends on the complexity you can answer in that manner it depends on the complexity of the feature it depends whether the test cases have been written or not and how many defects have been found earlier in that particular feature let's say in in first uh, you know in the first week or in the second week of the development when the sprint testing was going on so you were able to find many defects and now even though the application is stable but still your confidence level is not coming up because you got many defects even after the story was moved to the testing now let us look at from the another perspective during the sprint you didn't find much defects you think it's a very easy kind of feature and it has been developed properly so then you can ask for the unit test case coverage as well and based on that estimation based on that coverage you can tell your efforts or how much time do you need how do you maintain test cases and defect tracking details of the application so this is based on your you know whichever organization you are working so you have to tell about the test management tool might be jira bugzilla defect management tool and all those things where do you store your artifacts how do you you know cope up with the defects how do you make sure that all those things are properly taken care in the release so you have to take you have to tell all the things about the test management tools and all those things now what all type of testing activities you are involved so it is more of uh, you know uh, about your again current project roles and responsibilities so you can tell uh, you are involved in test case writing test case reviews with the team then manual testing and then you start with the automation or you are simply a person who is working with the automation team so those all things you can tell then they are also asking about few of the amazon devices such as alexa and what are the major test cases you know that are surrounding that uh, testing that particular application then again current project roles and responsibilities i think it is repeated any recent bug that you encountered so you have to tell about you know very special defect that even they feel that uh, it was a very it, it it was a good find from your side so that thing you have to take care just don't tell them that you found, found out this uh, spelling mistake in the application or some gui issue tell them about a good functional issue that is impacting the business perspective that should impact the customer so that defect you have to tell have you ever tried finding out the root cause analysis of any bug so if you haven't find out then uh, try to find out you know you can tell from the logs basically you can trace you can uh, change the uh, logging thing into the debug and you can try to repeat the test steps and once the defect is there so you'll be able to catch or trace the uh, you know the exception from the log itself so that is one thing another thing is you can sit with the developer and see uh, one by line one line of the code and you can debug from that so these all things you can explain when you when they ask you how to find the root cause analysis of the bug so these were the questions that were shared by her uh, she had got 2 plus years of experience and her interview was with amazon and the location was chennai but it can be asked in another you know uh, location as well and it can be asked in another company as well so these are as of now you know very very particular to amazon because this is what i have got from her and uh, she got two rounds first was the simple telephonic discussion and second one was technical discussion again telephonic round because pandemic is going on so let's hope that uh, this video is uh, you know has been used is would be useful to you and these questions can be asked in another companies also because you can see these are very generic questions only if you see uh, this question like of alexa and all those things so this you can get uh, with respect to amazon itself or amazon might ask you some questions on amazon.com or whatever the products that are available from amazon side so they basically want to know what is your uh perspective from the analytical side like uh, what is your logical thinking how do you create test cases on the fly how do you uh, create the test scenarios so basically they want to know all these things okay so thank you for your time and uh, please uh, please uh, subscribe the channel if you haven't done it so far stay tuned for more updates